Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here back with another Madden 21 video. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to trade for rookies. And rookies, this is a more updated version for the rookies. Like Justin Jefferson and Clyde Edwards Hilaire are much harder to get. And Kenneth Murray as well because their overalls went up throughout the season. I believe Clyde Edwards Hilaire's overall started off at 75. Now he's in 83. So it was a lot harder to get. But we're going to be starting out with the Philadelphia Eagles. And if you want that star development quarterback that you can get right off the bat, then I would go to the Eagles. He may be normal development now. I'm not 100% sure last time i checked he was star development but they used a second round pick to get jalen hurts so let's try a third round pick a third round pick almost gets it done and the eagles did for some reason spend a second round pick on getting jalen hurts whenever they could have got denzel mims but i guess they passed on him for a second string qb but a left outside linebacker well middle linebacker straight up for Jalen Hurts, you can probably pick up a random middle linebacker in free agency and you can get a free star development quarterback. Yes, he is 68 overall, but that development really does matter and it really does show. But next on our list, we are going to be going to the Baltimore Ravens and getting J.K. Dobbins out here. And I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan. J.K. Dobbins has been showing really, really good potential. And at the time I'm recording this, I believe Mark Ingram is out and a fourth round pick for jk dobbins obviously won't quite get it done I believe the ravens spent a second round pick on jk dobbins but that won't get it done he's a lot harder to get than i thought he would there's some running backs that you can trade like a fourth round pick for and just straight up get it that are higher overall and they don't want any interest in any of that but jerome baker let's see if that goes through jerome baker almost puts it through let's see what else they want they need a center what what do i have here uh, this guy will not get it down. No one seems to like a Ted over here, but uh, what else? Either of these right tackles? No, nope, they don't want either of those right tackles either. And what else? Maybe this left guard. Will that get it done? Nope, not quite. But let's go back to Jerome Baker actually over here. And uh, I don't think both of those, we don't both need those. That would be too overvalued. So let's try a fourth round pick. Take out Eric Flowers. Jerome Baker in a fourth gets you J.K. Dobbins. That simple. Start of element 76 overall will progress. Well, technically as hidden development, but it will become start of element. And he will progress pretty nicely. And I believe he is only 22 years old, maybe 23 years old. So he's not going to be too old for you and will last quite a bit. But next is another halfback as we have DeAndre Swift with the Lions who has been setting quite the records. I'm pretty sure he's set a record that hasn't been set since uh, Barry Sanders. I don't know the exact record. Don't quote me on it. But still, we're trading Devon Godshaw straight up for DeAndre Swift. And obviously, it doesn't quite go through. But still, let's get a draft pick in here. And maybe a fifth. Will a fifth work? Devon Godshaw and a fifth will get you Devon DeAndre Swift. Another good running back that will progress pretty nicely. So be excited for that. So let's get into our next trade. So our next trade is going to be with the Atlanta Falcons, and we are going to get the rookie AJ Terrell. I believe he only has normal development, maybe star development. I don't. I definitely know it's not super star development. I do believe he was a first round pick as well, and he those two guys don't get it done. But they were both in red, so and it both went up. So I'm kind of surprised by that. They don't want either of these defensive backs. What about? um right tackle do they want either of these guys they want the lower overall right tackle let's see if they take that 66 overall right tackle for the first round pick aj terrell that's very interesting i did not know that would go through at all but that's how you get aj terrell i do believe he only has normal development though but next we're going to the raiders and we are going to a defensive back once again we are getting this guy Dema. Damon Sun. <laughs> I'm sorry if I can't pronounce his last name. Uh, I, I'm just really illiterate when it comes to pronouncing last names because everyone comments down below about how I'm wrong and how I didn't say the name right. But we're trading Bobby McCain, but it seems a little bit too much value because he is a 78 overall. So let's try Bobby McCain and a fourth and a six. Not quite, but Bobby McCain and gets you the rookie defensive back and the six round pick. So that way it's not too overvalued and Bobby McCain is pretty bad. He's only 27 years old and he only has normal development. So he's not that great of a player either. 
So next on our list, we are going to be going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And that person is going to be the first round pick, pick number 20 overall, I do believe it is. That is going to be the right end, Kayla Von Chase on second string. He only has normal development, sadly, but still, it's not bad. It's not great either. But still, it's a rookie, so it's going to be on this list. As Caleb, we're going to try to trade for Kayla Von Chase on and Andrew Van Ginkle and Beagle. They don't want Shaq Lawson. I would consider trading away, but I don't want to. He seems too high of an overall to be considered easy. But a second string strong safety, 70 overall, almost gets it done in the yellow. Let's give up a draft pick, maybe a fourth round pick. We do not have a fourth round pick. A next year's fifth round pick, will that get it done? No, not quite. Let's try a next year's fourth round pick instead. And a six. Uh, let's just try a next year's fourth round pick. A second string, 70 overall, free strong safety, and a fourth round pick gets you the normal development right end rookie, K. Lavon, Chase on. So pretty good value there. And looking into it, he's very young as well, so it would be much better to have than that strong safety. But looking into it, we are now going to get Jalen Rager. Hidden development, and his hidden development is star development. So if you want that young receiver with star development, definitely look towards Jalen Reger. And uh, the Eagles want wide receivers, but we don't have them. Apparently none of interest. And Devontae Parker is a little too high of an overall to give up. They don't want any of these receivers either. But who else do they want? Left outside linebacker, middle linebacker too. Uh, they don't want either of those middle linebackers. Let's try the right outside linebacker, Van Ginkle or Beagle. Let's just try Beagle. Beagle for Jalen Rager. Vince Beagle does not quite get it done. Let's try Andrew Van Ginkle instead, see how far that goes. Goes a little bit further, but uh, we'll go both of them, but we'll also try to get a pick out of it so that way it's not too overvalued. Uh, let's try and get a fifth round pick. Van Ginkle and Beagle. No. Oh, wow. That actually went down a lot. That barely goes up with both of them in the deal. So that's very surprising, actually. So I'm just going to do Andrew Van Ginkle and um, a draft pick as well with it. I will give a next year's third. A next year's third. Why not? Uh, doesn't quite get it done. Let's just try this year's third. So for a young receiver, you can basically get a absolutely terrible... Outside linebacker who's old and won't do anything really. And a third round pick for a young receiver that has star development. So this is definitely a very good and easy trade to get. But we, here we are with the Vikings and you guys are probably thinking, yes, Justin Jefferson. No, Justin Jefferson takes an absolute crap ton to get because he is very good now and they need a defensive back. So let's, why not just trade away our rookie DBs? I don't want to actually do that. Uh, Justin Jefferson, we can't quite get, obviously, so we're not going to do this. Uh, yeah, here's the example that I'm trying to give, guys. You can't get Justin Jefferson. You really, you really can't get him without giving up a whole lot, and he's only halfway through with two rookie DBs. So this is my example. You can't really get Justin Jefferson, so I'm going to get the defensive back instead. Another defensive back, Jeff Gladney, instead of Justin Jefferson. I just really want to show you the example. He went from, I believe, a 72, 73, maybe even 74 overall to an 80 overall, so his value increased tremendously. So let's try and give Eric Flowers. Eric Flowers almost does it, so let's just try and give a six-round pick as well instead, so that would be a lot better. Now jumping into the draft picks, let's see what we have. I'll give an earlier sixth later than a seventh, and Eric Flowers in a six-round pick gets you the rookie Jeff Gladney here and next we are going to be going to the Kansas City Chiefs and getting Damian Williams who I was talking about earlier and he's a lot harder to get since he's an 83 now instead of I believe a 74 or 75 at the beginning of the year so um who do I want here a middle linebacker straight up will that do it not even halfway surprisingly for a middle linebacker half packs are relatively easy to trade for and uh, let's just try these guys. Shaq Lawson. Oh, that might be a little bit too much value. And that still doesn't get it done. So Clyde edwards Solaire is definitely the harder pick. So I'd definitely go with DeAndre Swift if it was my opinion. But uh, a six doesn't quite get it done either. We don't really have many picks left. We gave a lot of them away. So we're going to give away a fifth now. A next year's fifth. And that still doesn't get it done. Let's see if we can give something else away. Maybe a center. Will they like either of those? 
Uh, no, I don't think so, but I'm still going to try it, and it doesn't go through, obviously. What else do they possibly want for him? A left tackle? No, they're not interested in that either. Uh, let's try a defensive player, maybe. Uh, who can we offer that has no value or is just too old of a player? Maybe Christian Wilkins. Why not? Uh, Christian Wilkins, they don't want either. <laughs> This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because we just ran out of so many draft picks. So next year's third, we're going to try it. And I don't want to give up too much value. So I'm going to try to get a pick in return for it. So maybe their fifth round pick will do it. No, not quite. So I'm going to take probably like a next year's five. A next year's five. So a middle linebacker, Shaq Lawson, a third for Clyde Edwards-Hilaire and a next year's five. This was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. But either way, like I said... You can just go for DeAndre Swift if you want to. But next on our list, as I changed up my team to the Steelers because I was running out of draft picks and I was also running out of players to trade, we're going to be trading with the Seattle Seahawks and we're going to get the rookie outside linebacker who was a middle linebacker, Jordan Brooks. I don't know why the Seahawks decided to pick him in the first round. Thought he was second round, maybe third round talent. Seems okay, but uh, he got injured, I believe, as well. Let's try Chris Wormley, the former Raven. He, They don't want anything to do with that. Um, maybe right tackle. Do they want any of these guys? Yes, they want this right tackle who has medium interest. And look at that. A medium interest 64 overall right tackle gets you 73 overall normal development Jordan Brooks. It was that simple. It was just, he was even medium interest. I wonder what low interest would look like. That would actually be kind of interesting. But finally, we are going to be going with Jordan Love here. And I believe I did Jalen Hurts to start with. I'm getting them kind of confused because they're both second string, pretty good QBs. But uh, looking into it, they want a middle linebacker. I don't really think we have any. I think Vince Williams is a little bit too high over and overall to give up. Uh... They want a right end. What do we have here? This dude, uh, they don't want him either. Tight end. Uh, I guess we could go tight end if we don't have somebody. They don't want Chris Wormley either. Again, I don't I don't know why I went back to that. But let's try tight end this time. Tight end. They want Vance McDonald, 72 overall. And 72 overall aging Vance McDonald gets you a star development rookie QB that will definitely progress into something. So be excited about that. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed because I know I did. Very exciting to get these rookies, especially on these cheaps of a deal. I wish Justin Jefferson was super easy to get like he was last time, but he isn't anymore. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Once again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you like and or subscribe really helps me out and it really helps out this channel and anyways guys apart from that i'll see you guys all in the next one